Hello, I'm Dr. Rubina Shanavas, consultant urogynecologist, Department of Urology and Urogynecology at Fortis Hospitals, Bangalore. Today, I'm here to talk about Jogo, which is the newest uh, tool in our armamentarium of treatment options we can offer to our patients. Now, what Jogo is, is it is a kind of biofeedback induced physiotherapy. So where we use it as clinicians is that when we have a patient who has a lot of issues regarding incontinence where there is urine leakage or when they have voiding dysfunction wherein they are not able to empty the bladder properly or even in sexual dysfunction. So all these are heavily dependent on the neural pathways which are present. And when we commonly tell physiotherapy to the patient, because pelvic flow is such a muscle which is very difficult to identify by the patient themselves because of where it is located and how it acts. First of all, for them to identify the muscle and then to act on it and to stick on to the kind of physio which is recommended to them just becomes uh, more and more difficult. So here, what we do is that, uh, what the physiotherapist does is that they assess what exactly is the pelvic flow dysfunction because there are various levels of dysfunction which can happen on the pelvic flow level. So once it is assessed, a treatment protocol is made for uh, what you require. So and then they uh, introduce these, uh, they don't, in, uh, they apply these surface electrodes. So earlier biofeedback is done by the use of vaginal cones where you know we introduce something into the vagina and that is an invasive mode which not every patient is comfortable with especially when the issue is with say sexual dysfunction uh, so here it's a surface electrode and this sends out signals which are called the EMG or the electromyogram so when you see what muscle you're acting at what strength you're acting at and also when you hear the feedback of the muscle then it reinforces in your brain and it works on the principle of neuroplasticity where the new neural pathways are formed and reinforced which help in effectively targeting the muscles which need to act and the nerve pathways which need to act to ensure that you have a proper control over your urination and you don't leak and you have a proper emptying of the bladder especially in our scenario where I would recommend it to my patients is when there is a complex issue which you know especially in voiding dysfunctions is where we use it more often and in early cases of incontinence apart from sexual dysfunction also and over time we have seen that when patients adhere to the therapy especially the recommended 8 to 12 weeks of therapy because that's how long it takes like in any other muscle of your body that's how long it uh, takes to form and enforce the neural pathway so once that initial three months is done you're able to continue and practice this lifelong thank you